First, we would like to recognize those students who are in the National Honor Society. If you can please stand at your seat. Thank you, thank you. Next, we would like to recognize our scholar students. We have two seniors graduating this year. Please stand. Thank you. And now we would like to announce the winner of the Dr. Adrian Scurry Marini Scholarship and also acknowledge the outstanding performance of students in the areas of math, English language arts, science, social studies, foreign language, and arts and music. When I call your name, if you will please proceed to the stage. Abby Kaufman. <laughs> Lexi Dingledine. Pierce McGuckin. Daniel Pfeiffer. Carrie Rhodes. Ian Snyder. And Vanya Ramsey. We'll start with the Dr. Adrian Scurry Marini Scholarship. This award honors the legacy of Dr. Scurry, who developed our award-winning family support department. This award focuses on service and excellence in education. The recipient this year, starting at a young age, he has overcome many challenges both medically and educationally. Recently featured in the news for designing a walker made out of PVC piping for a kitten with a neurological disorder. He will be attending Stevens Institute of Technology in the fall and majoring in mechanical engineering with the goal of making advancements in the medical field. I'd like to present this award to Daniel Pfeiffer. And then next, I'd like to invite Mrs. Heather Hurley up to the stage to begin the first presentation of the Area Awards. Hello, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. I have the honor of presenting the Academic Award for Mathematics Achievement to someone who persevered in his math courses despite any struggle that he had and excelled in every single one of his math courses despite, through his hard work, even advanced placement calculus. The award goes to Pierce McGuckin. And next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Tamara Bacon with the English Language Arts Award. I'd like to present this award on behalf of the English and Language Arts Department. It's um, one of those I told myself I wouldn't cry moments, but this is a true honor, joy, and privilege to present this award to a young woman who's been a part of our school here at PA Virtual for a long time and has become um, a full-fledged author while she was here. It's been a joy to see her grow up in our school, and I could say a lot more, but Lexi, can you come get your award? <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. Social studies is kind of a tall order from seventh to twelfth grade. We expect you to remember all of recorded human history. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a pop quiz. You guys ready? <laughs> um, every semester I like to pose the question at the beginning, why do we study history? And we usually settle on the famous quote, if we don't study history, we're doomed to repeat it. But that's kind of only half the truth, and now that you're graduating, I think it's safe to tell you. It's so that you can be informed voices as you carry that torch forward. So the Social Studies Award is going to a student who I'm told is not here today. <laughs> but this not only recognizes their academic work, but also taking those lessons outside of the classroom and kind of already impacting social changes in the community. <clears throat> So let's give a shout out to Vanya Rumsey for the Social Studies Award this year. If you're watching the webcast, look in the mail, Vanya. <laughs> Up next, we'll have Mr. Mihal for the Science Award. Hello, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. On behalf of the science department here at PA Virtual, I am honored to present the Science Award. This student excelled in his science courses here at PA Virtual and is the type of student to go above and beyond the expectations set in his courses. This student also gives back to his community by volunteering his time in many ways. He volunteers as a public speaker to promote craniofacial awareness and is truly an inspiration to thousands. It is my honor to present Daniel Pfeiffer with the Science Award. Congratulations, Daniel. Good afternoon, it's an honor to be here. Congratulations, graduates, you all are awesome. Um, this student uh, for the World Language Award uh, received the award for typical reasons. She has great grades, she has a wonderful work ethic, she works well with her peers as well as uh, with me. But the thing that made um, this student stand out to me was that when you learn a different language, you're not only just learning vocab and grammar, you're learning about a new way of life, a new way of doing things. And for some people that's kind of hard to wrap their minds around, but uh, this student, I feel, um, has the desire to sit at people's feet and learn from them and grow from their experiences, and I think that will um, help her go far in life and with her relationships, and so I really appreciated that about her. So, Carrie Rhodes, Wolf, if you could come get the award. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm so privileged to speak with you today. Congratulations, graduates. I see a lot of familiar faces out there. I'll be pre I will be um, presenting both the art award and then also the music award because Mrs. Anderson is buzzing around here somewhere with lots of responsibilities. <laughs> so I will start with the art award. So one thing that I cover in my art classes is talent is great and talent is awesome. <laughs> but you need talent to be an artist. However, as with all things, talent in art will only take you so far. You also need, and what I, what I, what I call them are the four Ps. You need passion, perseverance, patience, and problem solving. <laughs> well, the, the recipient of the art award this year definitely has passion, and it shows through everything that he does. Um, I wanted to pick a student that really seeks out my help and grows as an artist from my, from my teaching, someone that comes to office hours, someone that really just seeks out that little extra something. And um, I really believe that this student has done that. Um, 
The real kicker is he doesn't even really consider himself an artist. <laughs> Just started this year, actually. But he has grown so far and shown so much promise in something that he didn't even know he was good at. <laughs> so I am pleased to announce that the winner of the Arts Awards this year is Mr. Ian Snyder. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to read Mrs. Anderson's words here. Um, the recipient of this year's music award has participated in local district and national fine arts festivals where she has received awards both as a vocal soloist and as part of vocal ensembles. She has also won national awards in songwriting and if you were here before the ceremony began, you got to hear her sing one of her own original compositions. She will be studying music in the fall at the University of Valley Forge where she was awarded the prestigious Virtuoso Scholarship, a four-year tuition scholarship. Please give a round of applause for the 2017 PA Virtual Music Award recipient, Abby Kaufman. Thank you. Again, let's give the uh, awardees uh, another round of applause. These kids show, show what could be done when you put your mind to doing things.